Hello, and welcome to another RPD video. Today, we'll be discussing indirect retainers. Indirect retainers fix this problem. Whenever someone eats a sticky substance that results in the denture base lifting off of the tissues and causes the rotation around the fulcrum line and the metal framework digging down into the soft tissues underneath, causing damage like this. In order to select a proper location for an indirect retainer, you must first identify the fulcrum line. Here are the different fulcrum lines for all the different classifications. Afterwards, you project a line perpendicular to that fulcrum line and going as far away from it as possible. In this case, you'll end up at the canine. In a class one, you'd usually end up at the central incisors, which are not that strong so it's recommended to split that line into two in order to hit the canines. A similar situation exists in a class four, where it's recommended to split that, indir that indirect retainer line into two, therefore hitting the two back molars, which are going to be direct retainers anyway. Let's see how that'll look like. And here are the rests in position. In that case, these rests will be able to indirectly retain the partial, preventing the further rotation and hurting the soft tissues underneath. Let's take a top-down view of the four different classes and identify the fulcrum lines together. So here is the fulcrum line for a class one, class two, no fulcrum line for class three, and here's the fulcrum line for class four. You extend a perpendicular line ending in the canine here for the class two, It'll be split for the class one and split for the class four. And again, no fulcrum line for the class three. Rests are placed and that's how you identify your indirect retainers. So that was it for indirect retainers. Thank you for joining us.